Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 27 of the 2005 Iron Man series. In the last episode, you guys probably heard me say that I want to go for 80 magic for the sole purpose of casting the charge spell so I can hit 30s with any of the god spells, which will just greatly increase anything I do with magic, but specifically, I really want it for Barrows. Only three chests an hour, but I can definitely increase that a lot. Just imagine a world where I have unlimited prayer pots and the charge spell. I'd be getting so many. That's kind of the end goal. That's how I'm going to do that humongous barrows grind to complete all the items. Because currently, the way I was doing it just isn't going to cut it. Now, what I'm going to do is I have 19k chaos runes to use on the account. All this, or I should say most of it, is from barrows. Now... I want to get 80 magic using those 19k chaos runes. I know there's a lot of things I can use chaos runes for. I can kill iron dragons and steel dragons and go for the dragon plate legs. But unfortunately, we're not quite high enough herb lore to be able to make anti-fire pots to do that efficiently. So I decided what I'm going to do to get 80 magic is use those chaos runes to cast fireball on the obsidian guys. Reason being is, of course, as many of you know, I want to complete 2005, and the only obsidian piece I have is the Abi shield, which is the best one, but I do want to get all the obsidian pieces. So this might not be the best way to use my chaos runes, but you know what? Not everyone's trying to complete the game in the exact same way that I am. Plus, we're going to get a lot more chaos runes on the second installment of the Barrows grind that we do. So that is how we're going to kick off this episode by going to mage some Abi guys in hopes for that 80 magic so we can cast charge. Right guys, there we go. Just spent 25k to change my chaos gauntlet or my gauntlets to chaos gauntlets because it adds plus three to any bolt spell I use. I will be using Fireball along this journey to 80 magic. We're actually pretty close to 78, which is awesome. That barrel grind got us a decent amount of levels to be honest, but uh, it's just too slow for me. I really just want to smash out that 80 magic, but our Fireball can now actually hit 15s rather than the previous 12 it would have hit. And uh, the cool thing about this is that it's actually almost as strong as the 59 spell Fire Blast. It could hit one less. Um, and I'm using Chaos Runes, which is very cheap, and I have 19k of them in the bank. So uh, yeah, let's head on over to the Obby guys and start killing them, because it's probably going to take a while. But I'm excited. Hopefully we get some items. We got the first kill coming up. Now, I've been told constantly, hey, Rarg, you should just splash your way to 80 magic. But you know what, guys? That probably is realistically the most efficient way and it definitely was a thing in 05 but it's just it's just not exciting it doesn't help me complete any other goals on the account so we're going to use these chaos runes how i think is the most efficient way possible and getting these other drops as well so hopefully we can you know get some nice good stuff so i'm getting around 40k xp an hour which honestly i'm pretty happy about i thought it was going to be a little slower but this is just super chill look at this you just simply just attack save spot and just hang out for a bit um now in regards to the chaos runes a lot of people are probably thinking oh well you can get a fury with that well two things one I am very far from 90 crafting or 89 with the plus one boost. And I could always just do more barrows, get more chaos runes, because I have a lot of barrows that I have to do. And I could always just buy chaos runes with money very, very easily from the shop. So honestly, guys, I'm really not too concerned about using the bulk amount of my chaos runes. And of course, when I do barrows especially, I'm going to be using deaths and hopefully bloods when it comes to where's those spells, you know, the god spells. They're somewhere in there, right there. Boom, there we go. No way, guys. I was just talking about this on stream, on how I'd flex this between now and a fire cape, and literally, like, two kills later, I get the obsidian cape. Check it out. Yo, this is, of course, the one I wanted out of any of them, because I already have the shield, and this just this is my new best in slot. Wow, guys. <laughs> you know, I'm not even that far into 78 magic. I did not expect it to happen this early. Super satisfied. Oh, no way. No way. That's my second shield. Look at that. I mean, that's pretty cool. I feel like with the amount of times I die, I mean, I'll have a backup shield, which is pretty nice. Oh my gosh. What? I'm still not even 79 magic. I mean, I'm getting pretty close, but yo, I just got all the items from the big dudes. That's the mall. That's the cape, shield, and mall. Wow. I'm 126 kills in. They're 1 out of 5 12 drop rates. The Iron Man luck is un freaking real guys. And now it's on to the little dudes, the level 133s, because these guys drop the mace, 
the sword as well as the knife. They also dropped the cape too, but of course I already have the cape. I'm going for all the unique, so yeah, I mean, I already have all three items from the big guys. Got super lucky, but uh, yeah, onto the smaller guys, and hopefully we can get just as lucky. That'll be awesome. Oh no, I clicked on the other one too fast, but that's 79 magic. One more level to go. There it is, guys. 80 magic on the account. This probably was like, I don't know, eight hours or so. There it is, though. The one spell I really wanted was the charge spell. We can now hit 30s, and it's going to make doing Barrow so much easier. It's going to make anything doing with magic so much easier, but Barrow specifically is what is going to be so good, and I'm going to be able to speed through chests. So as part of my completionist for 2005, I do want to unlock all of the god spells, and now that I have charge, I figured it's the perfect time to do it. When I did the mini game to or the mini quest to get the cape, I got the gothic staff. So the other two are going to cost me 80k each, I believe. So for every spell that I want to be able to cast outside of the training arena I need to actually cast it a hundred times inside the training arena and I need to buy the other two staves which actually will set me back a decent amount the Saradoman staff as well as the Zamorakian staff Ooh, yeah Zamorak has always been my favorite looking one look at that but they all look really cool they all look really cool. Sarah, I'll honestly probably never use, but you know, it's all part of that completionist, guys. I want to complete every single thing there is to complete in 2005, and this is definitely one of them. All right, so here's going to be your setup. We're looking like an absolute champ right now, not going for high magic attack at all. The thing is, is we just need to cast the spell 100 times. We don't actually need to hit 100 times. Um, so my magic attack is like plus 20 right now. Really crap. Have some prayer pots. I have some food, and I only have enough to get the Guthix one, and then I'll probably just make three trips. Hopefully that is for each spell. And uh, yeah, hopefully it goes really smoothly. Hopefully I don't die. Knock on wood. Totally just jinx myself right there. So the one bad thing about this spell is that I have to uh, manually click each one. Oh, and there we go. There's 100 casts. So yeah, I can't do any auto casting with these spells. The Staff of Dead can auto cast Flame to Zamrock, but of course I can't use that. And the Void Knight Mace is used to auto cast Claws of Guthix, but of course I can't use that either because pest control doesn't exist as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, it's going to be manually clicking each one, but to hit 30s, it's totally worth it. Anyways, on to the next spell. Any second now, we should unlock Flames of Zamorak. It should be anyone now. Come on. Come on, this one. No. Ooh, 30. See, that's 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 the hits I want to see. 30s. Crazy. There we go. Awesome. Guys, there was two PKers that tried to kill me. Um, it's pretty easy to avoid. As long as these guys are aggressive to the PKers, it's pretty easy to kind of maneuver around them and avoid them. Um, I guess PKers haven't learned to not get aggro yet, but uh, you know what? I'll take it because I lived because of it. I mean, I was technically not in there yet, so I, sh I shouldn't be bragging. But uh, one more spell to go, Saradome and Strike, and then that is all the god spells unlocked. Oh, there we go. Just ran out of prayer points as well. That is all the god spells unlocked, guys. I'm hyped. So the cool thing about these spells is that I can max hit a 30, which is actually the highest hitting spell I can do in 2005 tied with the Ice Barrage. I can't get any other boosts to increase that. But the really awesome thing about these spells as well is that they all have an ability. Guthix lowers defense by 5%. Zamrak lowers magic by 5%. And Sarah lowers prayer by 1%. Like I said, this one's kind of useless unless I plan on PKing. This one is also sort of useless, and I'll tell you why. Magic defense against NPC is 100% based on their magic attack level. And... Flames of Zamrock lowers magic by 5%, so technically, I lower their defense by about 5% when I use this, and lowering their defense does absolutely nothing. Against a player, magic defense is actually 70% their magic attack level and 30% their defense level, but for whatever reason, against NPCs, it's different. This was actually confirmed on Twitter by Mod Ash himself, so theoretically, in every single situation, I should be using the Flames of Zamorak spell, but in situations like Barrows, where all the brothers that you mage have a magic level of 1%, it really does not matter which spell I use. So the next major 70 skill I want on the account is smithing. Gold's Ore is by far going to be the fastest way I'm going to get that level. Blast Furnace was in 05, so that is an option, although it is a little different on how it's run in 2019 with the coffer and everything, so I'm still unsure exactly how I'm going to tackle that. But nonetheless, mining and then smelting that Gold's Ore is the fastest way I am going to get to 70. Now, it's quite a bit I need to get, and behind the scenes, I've kind of started a little bit with it already. I started with 70 mining, 
getting kind of close-ish to 72 now. There we go, guys. The first mining level of the Smith and Grind. 71 mining. The XP is quite slow. Let's see how much XP per hour we're getting. We are getting 11.6k. Crystal pickaxe. Can't even use that, but I guess it's a pretty cool milestone. 71 mining. Whew. On to the next one. So the method I'm doing is banking all my ores in Shiloh Village, then taking Vigroy back with the cart to Brimhaven, and then running all the way around and mining some more gold ore. It's definitely not that fast, but in 2005 standards, this was the meta. This was the meta to mining gold ore. We can't just go to Blast Mine, or we can't go to Motherload Mine and get a shit ton of ore. We gotta mine the old-fashioned way, guys. Rune Pickaxe. Boots of Lightness, some coins in our inventory, and running out of run every five seconds. This is how true champions mine. All right, we got one more rock till 72 mining. These levels actually take an incredibly long time to get. Holy crap. But lots of gold coming our way. No idea what any of that stuff is. Right, so let's finish up this inventory and see how many we have in the bank because I honestly haven't checked. All right, let's see how many we have. Let's put it in. Scroll down. Should be somewhere over here. 2004 that is a good year of runescape guys 2004 but that's you know that's not too bad i can only mine around 250 an hour at max speed but i probably get around more like 220 230 because i'm i'm pretty slow so uh yeah so that's not too bad guys we have 2k and we're going to need around 8,000 to get 70. this is not something i'm going to do in one grind because this one took like eight hours or so to do and mining isn't the most thrilling content um but yeah it is definitely a goal that i want to get relatively soon while i'm doing a bunch of other stuff so kind of behind the scenes maybe a little bit each episode i'll mine 2k or so just to get a little closer to that 70 smithing oh if it's actually 8.9k gold ore that i need to 70 smithing so yeah it's another three four hours on the grind but that's quite all right i eventually want 85 mining on the account anyway so it's just more mining xp but that 85 mining definitely more of a long-term goal i don't need that right now but mining rune ore on an 05 account has to be one of the best money makers and i just think unlocking that you know it's very prestigious and i definitely want to go for that at some point so all XP is good XP. But that is actually going to wrap up this episode, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to all see you in the next one. Take it easy.